Welcome back to the Planisware Enterprise for IT mini-series. Episode 2 will be on strategic planning. Hey Sam, glad you could join. As part of our upcoming objectives, the SSO project has become a top priority for our organization. Is there a good way to have visibility over all the upcoming work? Yes, since we keep this information in Planisware, it's simple for you to access the plan and see what my team is committed to. The strategic roadmap is a view to ensure that I align to the overall corporate objectives. Here I can see the two-year corporate plan and the vision statement. Wow! And the roadmap here is your current book of work? Yes. So here I can see the current projects, the roadmaps for each group. I can refresh on what we're currently working on and what we have in the pipeline. That's great. And what if we wanted to look into the SSO project here? Sure, I can dive right in. So this way we can investigate into any of the portions of the project with one click. It really is that easy. And then we can just as easily jump back into the roadmap. That's handy. And I can see some of your other candidate projects in yellow here. How do we make sure we have enough resources and budget for all of those? Well, roadmaps are great for visibility and communication, but when it comes to portfolio assessment and simulation, I typically like to use the scenario capabilities of Planisware. Let's check those out. So here we're looking at the same data as before, but now we're also adding priority and budget requests. And what's the priority of the initiatives we see here? So at the top, I'll see the list of existing projects, programs, epics with their respective timelines. By default, these are sorted in order of priority. At the bottom, I'll see the spend for each of these projects against our portfolio budget. However, the budget isn't a static number, and it can really vary over time. We've opted to include all ongoing projects in our portfolio. And do any of the changes we make here affect the initiatives? We are working in the simulation mode, so any updates we make do not directly impact the actual project. Well, at least not yet. It looks like we have plenty of budget. What if we added all the candidate projects? Will we know if we're over the limit? Yeah, let's give that a shot. I'll select all of my candidate projects. So it looks like we're certainly over the limit here. And what if we remove some of the lower priority projects? Sure. Looks like we're still just slightly over the limit. Well, we definitely need to keep the SSO project. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Is there anything else we can do to stay within the budget? That's a great question. Well, I could choose to exclude one of the current selections, but like you said, we need to keep the high-priority projects in my scenario, so instead I can choose to keep the entire selection and delay the start of an upcoming project. Let's see what that might look like. And just like that, it fits in my budget. I'm glad we could keep all of these top priority projects. But what about resources? There must be an impact on those too, right? Well, I'm glad you asked. I can flip the view to focus more on resources. Now we can see the resources on the left with their allocation and FTD on the right. And actually, it looks like the business analysts will be quite busy in the next quarter. But, you know, that's okay. We can either add open requisitions or just outsource it, because remember, we do have the budget for it. I can see this being a powerful tool to make sure we have enough resources during our strategic planning exercise. Absolutely. And we can also look at the resources from a more tactical point of view and focus more on the next few months. This is great, but our organization also takes into consideration the outcomes for the prioritization. Do you have a similar view to look at the objectives and outcomes? Yes. We previously saw the financial benefits and scores. Planisware also helps me assess the impact on the attainment of my strategic objectives and key results, or OKRs for short. So on the left side, I'll see the same list of initiatives we had in the previous view. Then on the right-hand side, we'll see the list of strategic OKRs with the contribution of all selected initiatives as a percentage. So how would this help us reach our objectives? So let's say that my objective is ensuring the proactive monitoring on three critical applications. So as you see here, I'm not going to hit that target, but we can select another project and just like that, we'll hit our target. That's neat. And if I understand, we could go back to the previous screens and make sure we have enough resources and budget to run that project. 
Exactly. So now while the scenario might be geared towards my objectives, you know my peers, they'll certainly have different priorities, different incentives, and therefore a different scenario. So in order to visualize those scenarios, we can switch to the scenario comparison view. This view will help me compare and contrast each scenario when it comes to the strategic alignment, OKR attainment, cost versus budget capacity analysis, and in versus out. Oh yes, our stakeholders do tend to have varying viewpoints on what needs to be funded. That's right. And you can see that we have selected three scenarios here. Each one really optimizes a different focus. This is where the fun happens. Exactly. This view is generally used for strategic portfolio selection meetings or board meetings. I can see why. And are you able to export this out? Absolutely. You can easily export the entire page via Microsoft Word, Excel, PDF, or even PowerPoint. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And it's just that easy. I'm able to export via PowerPoint and can even make changes like changing text to make it more legible. Perfect. And with that, we're ready for our meeting next week. And that wraps up Episode 2 for our Horizon series. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at planisware.com. We hope to catch you on our next episode soon.